right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're here for another round of the quarantine questionnaire. Uh, this week, I have a true young gun of the sport with me, Mr. <laughs> Owen Henderson, the driver of the J777, AX and A Hydro, a C runabout, a T5, and the S16 in the HRL series. Owen, how's it going today? Oh, not bad, not bad. Just chilling out at work, you know, same thing, different day. Yeah, so you don't get to go to school right now, so your dad's making you work instead. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. I mean, I've been working here for oh, six or seven years now. So yeah. it's just, I usually come here every day after school if I'm not doing something extracurricular at school. So it's uh, just here a little more often now. Yeah, well, it makes sense. You get to make a little bit more money, hopefully, too. So uh, you don't have to pay for some boat parts, I'm sure. So uh, <laughs> that should help. Yeah. Um, now you're going to have your own ride this year. Uh, it's got to be exciting. Last year you uh, shared the driving duties with uh, Mathis Gabriel Chasson. Uh, mm -hmm. It went pretty well for you, but uh, how are you excited? How, how do you feel about having your own ride this time? Um, I mean, I honestly feel the same as last year. I mean, it's just going to be a little bit more seat time for me. Um, I'm obviously really excited for the both of us just because uh, Matisse now has his own boat. Now I have um, my own, so it'll just be uh, really cool to be driving all the time. And of course, now I get to uh, compete against Matisse, which is going to be a lot of fun. So um, I'm pretty excited. Should be a lot of fun. Well, I think a lot of people are looking forward to it because uh, you're both young. Uh, you both have some experience now. I think you're going to have some great battles on the course. So uh, it's going to be fun to watch. Uh, I'm looking mm -hmm. forward to it for sure. Um, Owen, who's your favorite driver ever? <laughs> um I don't know I mean my dad I mean my dad obviously because he's um he's a pretty good driver but I mean he's my dad but I'm also a, a big fan of uh Chip Hanauer and Steve David I've always I've always watched videos of them and they're both very very successful drivers so I gotta say probably Chip Hanauer and uh, Steve David all right, going for the big boys and unlimiteds, eh? Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, the, Steve David drove, well, I think they both did, but Steve drove um, even a lot more recently in the limited classes. He even drove a T-boat, I believe, in the 90s, which is kind of neat. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't know if it's true or not, but somebody told me that he said that the best training for an unlimited is a T-boat because how long it takes them to spool up to speed um, for hitting starts and stuff like that. So I thought that was kind of neat and kind of interesting, but um, your dad might be able to give you some insight on that too. Um, so you've driven quite a few courses now, uh, not a ton, but uh, what's the roughest water you've ever driven on? Um, honestly, coming into uh, turn two in Bohornois is probably one of the nastiest ones, especially last year in 2019 when they had all the dams open because of the water levels. Coming into that turn was scary and uh, probably that and turn one in Tonawanda. Turn yeah, one in Tonawanda. Third buoy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ask your dad it's about not... that buoy. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, I've seen so many guys wrecked there. Uh, it's Fine. a nasty spot, man. Yeah. <laughs> Very nasty spot. Um, all right. What do you want to be when you grow up, Owen? Um... Recent, I've been really getting into the welding and manufacturing. Um, there's a, I know a guy, Tom O'Hara. He's the um, head representative of the United Union for um, pipe welding and I believe carpentry. And um, when I'm finished high school, I want to start an apprenticeship with the union. And um, I just want to become a welder and just travel, see if I can travel and um, hopefully make as much money as I can just because I want to. Uh, you know, enjoy my job and be able to do things, especially if I have a family when I'm older, I want to be able to support the family. So just something that I enjoy and um, make a fair amount of money doing so. Yeah, I'm, welding I'm, is such an important uh, profession and there's not that many people that know how to do it. So I think you'd be well ahead of the game if you get trained uh, that way. And, and you're right, you can go all over the world and do your job. So uh, that's a good idea, man. Uh, I'd like to talk my kids into taking up a trade like that, too. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not sure that they're as uh, good with their hands uh, with tools as you are, but uh, you never know. Um, mm -hmm. 
but no, that's a great profession. Good for you. I thought you were just going to say be a boat racer, but it sounds like you're smarter <laughs> than <laughs> doesn't yeah. pay enough money. Um, no. <laughs> all right. Owen, who's your favorite band? Ooh. Um, I don't know if I have a favorite, but I like a lot. Like, um, I'm a big fan of like Little River Band, uh, Pearl Jam, ACDC, uh, all those kind of classic rock, mm, just uh, whatever, you know, Motley Crue, big fan of Motley Crue, stuff like that. Yeah, you like the older stuff, eh? That's uh yeah. Yep. That's that's right. good. That's a good thing because a lot of the new music uh, I'm not a big fan of either. So that's uh, <laughs> that's good. Um, yeah. So Henderson Hydroplanes, um, you know, obviously a very successful uh, boat racing or boat building company. Um, you've been working there a long time. You probably know more uh, about building boats than 98% of the guys in the pits, and you're only 16. Um, mm -hmm. Do you think that you'll ever be the guy that runs that business? Uh, that's hard to say. I kind of have a feeling um, my dad is going to work until the day he dies just because, um, you know, he some days doesn't like it. Some days he loves it. And it's just something like, I mean, it's in all of our blood. Right. So I just think he'll he'll be around as long as he can, as long as he can get around the shop. I think he'll be doing it. So I think once he uh, um once him and Jamie kind of settled down with the whole thing, I, I don't know if I'll take over the business, but I'll try and uh, keep it up and going for people that uh, stay need boats fixed or whatever. So should be, uh, well, I guess we'll see when the time comes. Yeah. Well, that's good news. Cause uh, there's not many people that know how to fix boats anymore. Um, I know you helped me out before when uh, my sponsor was falling apart and uh, you got us through the weekend. So, <laughs> it's, uh, it was yeah, awesome. And I have more experience than a lot of guys. So it's, you know, there's, that's trouble when a boat comes apart. It's a, a lot of guys just don't know what to do. So uh, it's good yeah. to have you guys around. Um, Owen, are there any daughters of any racers that you'd want to marry? <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I don't think so. You no, know, eh? <laughs> Mike Gebline's daughter. Yeah, she's not bad. <laughs> but Kevin, but Cherry, I mean, she's she's a she's a pretty cool girl. I uh, went down to Buffalo two summers ago and stayed there, and her and I really kind of uh, hung out and really got to know each other, I guess. And it was uh, pretty cool. She's just like right into boy stuff, like right into the motorsports and the she she's not afraid to get dirty, and she's just pretty. Uh, she's a pretty cool girl. So honestly, if came down to anyone it'd be probably sherry geblin she's a pretty cool girl yeah. all right all right honest answer i like it yeah <laughs> who do you think the most popular driver is in the hrl series um uh, probably andrew tate andrew yeah. tater might one of the two or your dad is that what you said yeah or my dad i don't know i don't really know how famous my dad is but I hear a lot about Andrew Tate, so you know, <laughs> I know, right? Got to give it to him. He even announces a uh, online video game races now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I watched out of uh, Gunnersville this morning. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty neat, eh? Um, do you have any pet peeves? Um, pet peeves. I do. But um, there, there's just I think there's so many little pet peeves that I have. It's just kind of um, my I, my biggest thing is um, when people try and argue something that um, might be wrong, or say, for instance, when you know you're right and they still try and argue with you. That's a big pet peeve of mine. I mean, I don't, I don't always say that I'm right just because I don't want to come off like I know everything. But when it's something that's blatantly obvious and there's, they still try and argue with you, that that's probably my biggest pet peeve. Okay, okay, I like it. Uh, where do you want to go to college? Um, I haven't really been looking into college a whole bunch. Um, I have looked at uh, Georgian. 
and uh, Durham in the Toronto area. Yep. Georgia. Yeah. I was looking at for the, for a little while, I was looking at a uh, course. It's um, Marine Navigation. It's where you drive the, like the big uh, ships, like Canada steamship lines or like get into private business where you're driving yachts and stuff like that. Or um, doing uh, the welding, which was a uh, welding technician program in uh, Durham. That's one that I was looking at, but you'll just uh, another like just see when the time comes, I guess. You think you'd like living in a big city like that? Uh, no. <laughs> it'd be cool. It'd be cool to live in a big city like that for a couple months. Then you'd probably get sick of it just because I'm so used to being in a small town, knowing everyone, and just. You know. yeah, well, you're a river rat, right? So. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you play any instruments? No. I do not. No. Talented that way. All right. Who do you think the strongest driver in the HRL is? Oh, Tommy Thompson. Yeah, probably. Everybody says yeah. that. What about the weakest? Tommy is intimidating. The weakest? Free, I've never really thought of that. Um, I I honestly don't know. I mean, everybody's everybody's strong. All right. Uh, what about the funniest? Mike Monahan, probably. <laughs> Monahan, he's pretty. He's awesome. Now you race a lot in Quebec. Um, how's your French coming along? Mm. Not well. <laughs> yeah, I did uh, French in elementary school and first year of high school. And uh, I kind of gave up after that. Just not, not, it's not that I'm not interested in it. It's just, I find it very uh, difficult to learn. And I always tell myself, well, I got other things going on. Well, it's not necessarily that. It's just, I don't really have a uh, interest in learning French. Yeah. Probably helped me. Well, I think uh, your uncle Kent and I are, are going to learn French together. Um, I already know quite a bit, but I think he's, uh, we're going to try and take a course where we both become bilingual. We'll see how long Kent lasts. Yeah, I don't, I'll, I'll be, uh, that'll be uh, interesting to see how long that lasts with him. <laughs> um, okay, so when was the last time you got your hair cut? Because it's like, it's out of control. September. So. September, last time I got my hair cut. It's a little, uh, a little out of control, yeah. All right, so yeah, I got, a, I got a, like, a little challenge for you. So I'll grow mine out until uh -huh. May. So like, uh -huh. you know, it'll just be the ring, right? And it'll be like yeah. down here. And then yeah, you yeah, can yeah. shave the middle of yours out and we'll have matching skulllets. What do you think? Mm, I, I don't <laughs> think I challenge. It'd be pretty funny though. It would be funny, <laughs> but it would, yeah, it would be funny to me. I, I care, care about my hair a little too much, so. Yeah? Let's throw that. Yeah, it is something else. I never had hair that long. Um, yeah, no, I don't usually have my hair this long. It's just all the uh, barber shops and the salons are closed, so I can't really go get my hair cut. So. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I can't believe I, that nobody shaved it off for you yet in your sleep or something. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, Owen, if you could hit a start, uh, do you think you would have won a final? <laughs> <laughs> is that good? Um, uh, <laughs> um, uh, that's a tough question. Um, it really, I mean, you, you don't, you don't really know. I mean, nobody really goes out and, um, expects to, I mean, some people do, but others don't. I mean, you can't really go out and expect to win a final. It just kind of comes down to, uh, like you said, your timing and to, uh, to, uh, is kind of there at the starting line where when where you are lane wise so so who's worse at starts than you <laughs> i that's, that's um, tyler caddis right. no, your I'm, uh I, your I, uncle y your uncle uh can't ask me to ask you that question uh, <laughs> that's probably the answer he was looking for too yeah um, who does who does your radios yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say um, anybody's bad at starting. It's just a matter of uh, if you're there at the right time or not. Really, it all comes down to timing. Who does your radios? 
Oh, it was a mix of people this year. Um, I had uh, Mike Grindel do them for majority of the races. He's a really good radio guy. I love having, having him on the radios. Um, my dad's done them a few times, and that doesn't always work out to the best because we sometimes argue when I get out of the boat. So um, I try and get someone else to do them for me, like Mike. Mike, Mike is probably my uh, go-to radio guy. Yeah, sometimes with great drivers, and like this isn't. A, I'm not putting down your, your dad at all because um, you know he's one of the best drivers in history, as far as I'm concerned. But um, I didn't like him on my radios. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. no, it's, it's almost like he was trying to tell me what he would do or or how he would drive the boat. Um, mm -hmm. So it takes a certain personality to have on the radio. And uh, yeah, exactly. So I personally didn't. I I picked somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> so I yeah, think. I I found that too. The time that he did mine is he was uh, strong. Like he was um, trying, like telling me how he would kind of do, how he would do it in that situation or whatever situation it was. Um, but I just, cause I mean, like they say every different, every driver's different, right? Everyone does things differently. So I just, um, just kind of like someone to just let me know where people are and, uh, just suggest things, not necessarily tell me what to do. So, yeah, no, I agree. Um, actually, the last time that I got a penalty uh, on the race course was when I was driving Bill Villarreal's H8, and Bert told me to move in, but I didn't have enough room, so I listened to him and got a penalty. <laughs> yeah, so it's just funny. I like to make fun of him a little bit about that stuff. Um, yeah, who do you think is going to win a final first in the HRL? You or Tyler? Um, not, not to come across the wrong way, but I believe, I want to say me, just because Tyler's getting in a new boat, new 350 this year. So he's going to have a little bit of getting used to, um, it's just going to be like basically him restarting again, just in a new boat. So, um, I mean, I believe in Tyler 100%, but, um, just, it'll be, uh, it'll take a little longer for him, I think, just because it's new boat, new class, new competition. So it'll be a little different for him. Yeah, I agree. Uh, do you like mustard on your fries? Uh, not on my fries, no. <laughs> no. Do you uh, like dogs or cats? Dogs. I'm a dog guy. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite pump-up music before a race? Uh... Probably some uh, ACDC or Motley Crue. The odd time I might listen to some rap, like today's music, yep. just because different moods, right? But um, mostly, most Motley Crue and ACDC. Nice. I listen to uh, "Won't I Won't Back Down" by Tom Petty. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. <laughs> um, so do you even lift, bro? L lift weights? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, <laughs> no I lift, uh, lift stuff around the shop. That's my uh, lifting. Okay, what's your favorite course you've ever raced on? Um, my favorite course I've ever raced on was probably Cambridge in the T boat. I haven't I haven't raced in Cambridge um, in uh, two and a half yet, but um, Cambridge in the T boat was probably the best and smoothest course I've ever been on just because of the big turns and the uh, long and short straightaways. So that's probably my favorite course. Oh, and you don't have to lift there. It's just yeah, exactly. Foot to the floor, yeah. which is awesome. Yeah. Um, what's your biggest fear, Owen? Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Probably dying. I mean, every, nobody wants to die. I mean, everyone would probably tell you that their biggest fear is either dying or heights. I'm not a big fan of heights either, but I can uh, I can deal with them. But dying, I can't. So that's probably well, it. I think you got a long way to go. Um, so. Yeah, I hope. So. <laughs> uh, what's your best so, memory at a race, Owen? Best memory at a race. Um, probably my honestly my. My number one memory at a race was probably in uh, 2017. That was the first time I'd been back to Valley Field since I was, I think, three or four. And that was the year that my dad won 
Valley Field, and then he won it again. Or was it 20? Yeah, no, 2016. 20, no, 2017. Yeah, it was 2017. And uh, that's the year that he uh, won Valley Field, and it was pretty cool for me just going back there and kind of really getting to get the feel of 150 to 200,000 people on the shoreline lined up for a boat race and uh, him coming out on top. That was probably, that's probably my, my uh, number one memory for a boat race. It's the year that, uh, that Kent won as well. Uh, yeah. Uh, so it was a big, big weekend for the Henderson brothers. And uh, yeah, I was on radios for both of them. So I agree with you. It was a wicked, wicked year. Uh, yeah, that was really 17 was a special year for the Steeler team uh, in general um, for both Kent and Bert. So um, yeah, I, I agree with you. That was a really, really good one. Um, mm -hmm. So boxers or briefs? Boxers. <laughs> Who's your favorite NASCAR driver? Ah, uh, that's a tough one. I don't uh, I don't really pay attention to NASCAR that much. But if I were to go with someone, probably uh, Truex, Truex or Earnhardt. Earnhardt's retired now, but um, probably Truex. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Uh, soap or body wash? Mm, body wash. Uh, Irish Spring uh, body wash. That's good stuff. <laughs> what? Uh, so, you won the nationals uh, as a rookie. And I, what were you, fifteen at the time in the T class? Yeah. Were you the yeah. youngest ever to win it? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I think uh, Brand Brand. I know Brandon Kennedy won nationals. I don't know if he won. I don't know if he won nationals his rookie year or not. But I believe we were the same age, Brandon and I, because I know he started when he was 14, I believe. Yeah, he did. So, I don't know if he won in the Nationals that year or not. I haven't checked because he was up against, uh, you know, Kelly Shane and Jimmy Shane and some really fast boats. I don't know if he won it that year. Um, so I was just curious. Um, but pretty amazing accomplishment to be a national champion at 15 years old. Uh, must have been pretty yeah. exciting. Yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. I mean, I get uh, a lot of people like uh, – I don't really when I when I do accomplish things I don't really show emotion a whole bunch because I don't want people like to think that I come off a little like cocky or come off a little too like yeah whatever so I just kind of like stay uh, stay neutral with my emotions and I mean it it was awesome like inside it was like a freaking like party but just outside I try and stay calm just so that I don't look like I'm look like That's I think good. I'm better than everybody. That's yeah. a good thing. You try and stay humble, right? Um, it's yeah. it's really hard though when you bit, win a big race. Uh, yeah, I've been there when you're trying to like contain your emotions, but really just, you're so excited because it's not easy to win any final ever, um, you know, in any class. But when you win a nationals, it's, uh, <laughs> you're allowed to celebrate yeah. in that one. Okay, I'll give you permission. Yeah. <laughs> um, what's your favorite car? If you could have any car. Uh, everyone, people make fun of me for this, but honestly, I would, if I could have any car, I think I would go with like a, a brand new Cadillac, like the new, the yeah. new Cadillacs. I mean, all the sports cars and the, the, uh, the muscle cars and the imports and all that. I'm not, I'm not real big and, uh, stuff like that. I kind of just like, um, something not too fancy because you don't want to like put yourself out there, you know? So just like a. A new uh, new Cadillac, I think, would be real nice. That'd be probably my dream car. New Caddy. All right. Cool. Um, what would you say, uh, out of all the paint jobs you've seen in bull racing, is the nicest or the best, your favorite? Uh, that's a tough one. I really like uh, Roger Mahan's 350 paint job. That's a really nice paint job. I love that one. And the... Uh, Jeff Richards' uh, boat, his old Grand Prix, the uh, the boat that was painted up with all the flames, the black background and all the flames. The 101. Was, yeah, the 101. That was a really cool boat, too. Probably those two boats. It's actually a big shame that boat uh, got destroyed over in, uh, I believe, is Australia. It might have been New Zealand, but um, that's they too actually, bad. They actually, um, I've been kind of keeping myself updated with things that are going on over there, and they um, they have the boat actually put back together. And they wow. uh, put a new bottom. 
put it all back together and it should be a uh, it didn't race this year but next uh next season i think it'll be uh ready to go i wonder if they could lure jeff out of retirement to take that for a rip a few more times Honestly, that that would be pretty cool. <laughs> I know. I'd... Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, what's your favorite food on race weekends? Probably a cup of coffee and some muffins. I don't really eat a whole lot when I'm at boat races. But when I do, it's usually about a cup of coffee and a muffin. That's about it. Hey. Uh, when was your first kiss? Great sex, <laughs> I think. <laughs> so it's been a while then. <laughs> yeah, it's been five years. All right. Um, who, out of all the people that you've raced, and you haven't raced a ton of different drivers yet, but uh, but you will, who's the best driver you've raced against? Uh, let me see. I've raced against like uh, Rich Wilhelm. Uh, Derek Demers, uh, uh, Yves Villeneuve. Uh, I don't know. They're all they're all good. They're all great drivers. Just um, some of them are better at other things than the other. And I mean, I don't think one driver is better than the other. It's just uh, honestly, if I were to say, probably um, uh, I don't think I could say. They're all great drivers. All right. Um, who's going to win the championship this year in GP? That's a tough question because, I mean, that's going to be, that's going to be really close because we got the new 444, um, the Steeler, uh, um, Brandon in the 14, Bobby in the 25. That's going to be tough. That's going to be really tough. It's going to be close, I think. I agree. I, I, but it's going to be really good, really good racing in 2021. Okay. What about 350? Um, I don't know. That's, that's another tough question. No, every class I, is, man. <laughs> I'd love to say Kent, but he's going to be, uh, he's going to be really, um, I think distracted with the, uh, the GP. I mean, he's going to go back and forth, but that GP is really going to, uh, I think that's really going to occupy him. So he's going to really, I think, struggle to kind of go back and forth, but, um, say like him pen's oil boat uh dylan runny in the 12 i mean it's really hard to say they're all great boats great drivers it's really just uh whoever is the most consistent i guess 100 percent. what about 2500 yeah. <clears throat> uh i want to say you probably have a really good chance in that 92 boat in the I hope uh, so. in the that's a that's a good boat. I think uh, you, uh, Mark Lalonde, could win it. He's he showed he showed uh, signs of uh, being very competitive and winning a championship. Uh, Scott Lee, um, any honestly, any one of those drivers could do it. I agree. Uh, hmm. What about the S class? Uh, I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, I hope – I'd love to win a championship, but, I mean, I don't want to uh, go into the season looking for a championship because that's usually when uh, things go wrong. So I just want to um, say, like, could be anyone, me, um, whoever. I'm not, I'm not really too sure who's in the uh, F or S class this year, but, um, like, me, Matisse, Amanda Brody's driving now. You never know. She could pull one off. Uh, really anyone yeah it's it's so hard and and my advice to you and i think your uncle kind of would tell you the same thing you, you get your points you know there's mm -hmm. some heats yeah. that that you're just not going to win if you're in lane six and you can't get around a guy you could get your points you know get as many points as you can get yeah. be clean because yeah. it's going to help just, you at the end of the season exactly just finish the race be consistent 100 percent um who's the sexiest driver in the hrl uh <laughs> i don't know man like 
there's no uh there's no uh like really female drivers i mean i can't i don't want to say like probably uh andrew tate no homo andrew tate <laughs> that's it all right all right everybody says tate jeepers uh, who, who do you think the oldest driver is uh i don't know my dad's getting up there he's he's gonna be 50 i know that's um crazy. uh who else oh um uh jimmy king mm-hmm. um I think that's that's all I got for now. Yeah. So, who do you think's the best starter? Man, these are tough questions. I know. Um, my dad when he drives, I know he's a uh, he's a very good starter. Kent, he's a great starter as well. Um, Dylan Runny, he's uh, usually there, always there. Um, just trying to think. And I think those those three people, those three or four people, I think probably yeah. the top starters. And we were looking at the, uh, the top 10 videos for the starts. And um, mm-hmm. honestly, every year it's 10 different guys. Uh, and there's so many good drivers. It's uh, We have an amazing <laughs> series, amazing series. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. The quarantine questionnaire. Here we are with the the youngest gun in the sport, uh, Mr. Owen Henderson. It's been a pleasure. I wish you all the luck this season and, uh, well, the 2021 season. And I look forward to getting back out there and and watching your race, man. Sounds good. All right, buddy. Have a great day. Get back to work and uh, get your dad doing something so you don't have to do it all, okay? (laughs) Yeah, sounds good. All right, bud. Take her easy. Yeah, you too. See you, Steve. Bye.